Christmas, Hanukkah, and New Year behind me, I headed back to Lviv. I picked up my stuff from Alex, dropped by Yurko's flat, and said hello to an old friend. I spent a day with Darren Alf, who just happened to be in Lviv at the same time as me. It was crazy to meet him after learning so much from his videos. I got a call from Tadas, who I'd met two months earlier in Western Poland. Here we go. There's the man, the man himself. Tadas. He lived in the next city and insisted on driving all the way to pick me up, just so I wouldn't have to cycle in a snowstorm. We'd kept in touch, and he'd invited me to stay with him and his wife Kate for a few nights in Ivano Frankivsk, turning their kitchen floor into my bedroom. I learned how to play Russian billiards and how to lose at Russian billiards before taking a trip with them to the countryside and the Carpathian Mountains in the back of their van. The VIP spot in the back. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. Today, ah, oh, this is gonna set me back a bit. 
and I'm sitting in the car um, of one of the hostel staff. They're a bit worried about me cycling all the way out of the city on the busy roads. They've offered to drive me um, out of the city because the, the roads here are so icy and snowy. Thank you for the ride. <laughs> Moldovan border. Um, yeah, it's pretty uh, pretty snowy as you can see. I'm about to cycle in this. These dogs over here stole both of my gloves off my bike. There's the damage the dog did on my brand new gloves. Moldova. Finally. I'm in Moldova. Country number seven. It's really snowy, you spent ages at the border um, because there's four checkpoints that you have to go through to get from Ukraine to Moldova. And I'm uh, super excited to be here, about 270 kilometers to Chisinau and I've got a 40 kilometer ride today. And I'm also loving the town signs here. It's a very specific type of house design here. All the houses tend to look like, uh, like this. There's one. Oh man, boy am I glad that the roads are a little bit better so far in Moldova. Luckily because the border control is so slow, there's no cars coming behind me. A lot of uh, unmechanized farming here. As you can see, there's a... Dobre den! <laughs> so, here in Moldova, sometimes the only place you can get water is from one of these wells. And you use this uh, dial here to bring up a bucket. And in here, is a well and uh yeah there you go man it's so foggy it's really nice to be able to see so much of the Moldovan countryside on my first day here in Moldova. Um, as you can see, there's a, there's a lot to look at. Another unhappy dog with me over there. I've already been chased by a few dogs today. It's a bit of a whiteout, so I've switched my lights on in the middle of the day so cars can see me. But I'm a little bit worried that cars won't be able to see me as they come up on me. Misty Moldova. Now it's getting a little bit cold. My god, the visibility is terrible. So I made it to my hotel, but oh my god, that was stressful. For the last hour, my torch has been on red and flickering every ever so often, so surprised it lasted the whole journey here. It's crazy how few street lights there are here in Moldova. I'd heard that before. This place reminds me a little bit of The Shining. <laughs> it's a strange place. And then if you just come around this corner, there's just a load of plants randomly kind of doing their thing here. But yeah, this is my, all oh, the lights just went out. Um, this is my hotel for the night and that looks really creepy. Man, <laughs> there is like no one around. That's a magazine, I think that means a shop. So that's a shop. I'm currently looking for a restaurant that's supposed to be around here somewhere. Where's the restaurant? Thank you. <laughs> so I just found 
um, in this hotel because the hot water is not working. There's a hairdresser's inside the hotel in there um, where I was able to use some hot water to shave and wash my face. Um, I finally found a Moldovan flag. It's the first one I've seen so far. Um, but unfortunately it's all wrapped up so it doesn't look that great. The slightly better example of the Moldovan flag, I'm sure a lot of people actually haven't seen this before because Moldova is not that well known. But there it is. Cycling through the snow was tough. By the end of each day, my body ached from all the shivering. Even after going inside, it would take a long time for me to feel warm again. I'm just leaving Bricheni. A bit cold, wet and miserable today. The heart of winter in Moldova might not have been peak season. But as one of the world's least visited countries, its novelty and the friendly reception I had from locals took my mind off the cold. My local man uh, just gave me, because he noticed I was cycling, gave me some tea and uh, a jam sandwich, which I really needed because I was feeling a bit shaky. And I was getting really, really cold. Lovely hospitality there. Oh man, this dog really does not like me. I arrived in Belts, freezing but fascinated with my new surroundings. Two American Peace Corps volunteers, Justine and Maddie, took me in for four nights. Thank you, this is really good for sleeping. thing I'd expected to be doing in Moldova. But it was a welcome moment of familiarity before I headed off into more of the unknown. <laughs> 